Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a very simple tutorial. Basically, this is just like the makeup that I wear for work every day. I didn't really have an idea on like what to film today and because I am in a rush, I figured why not. And so anyways, let's get started. And please stay at the end of this video to meet my puppies. So I always have like a lip balm in my purse. At the moment, I'm using this Buxom Powerful Plump. And this is in the shade Dolly Fever. And so it is like a tinted lip balm. This is basically like, I like to think of it as the adult version of the lip smacker ones. You know, that literally look like this. They're like the shape of a glue stick almost. Something that I really do like about this is not only does it give you color so like if I forget to like put on lipstick I could just put this on but it also has like a plumping effect and it has like that minty like cool type of taste. I really like it when lip balms have that. I did used to have like the original one and I think it's the pink one. I think it's called Big O and that one it either adjusts to your pH levels or it just makes your lips really pink. I don't remember like what which one of those it is but I really like that one too and next on the list is obviously the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base I'm always like on the verge of running late to work so this has saved my ass <laughs> like so many times so I'm just gonna rub this all over my face and then I'll put on foundation after and I really like that product because it is a two-in-one it's a moisturizer and a primer so I kill two birds with one stone and I don't have to worry about using like two different products or like opening them up moving on to foundation of course I'm using the L'Oreal infallible this is a 24-hour fresh wear in the shade 440 and my mom gets mad at me she's like I buy you so many other foundations like high-end like Kevin D or uh, Kosas, which turns out it wasn't my shade, but I really like using this one because every time I use it, like it gives me good coverage, it matches my skin tone, and it's a cheap like drugstore product, something that won't really hurt my wallet. It's one of my favorite foundations that I've ever used. And another reason why I am in a rush is because uh, we recently got puppies, and so we have them in the living room in like their own little cage or as I like to call it it's their little hex because if you've seen WandaVision like you know her whole town is like in a hexagon shape but this cage that we bought for them is also in the hexagon shape so <laughs> obviously I had to call it their hex and so I'm trying to hurry up so they won't get too sad in the cage like all by themselves I've never really properly introduced my other two dogs but basically I have two so one of them is like the older one and she's maybe like 13 or something years old and she's actually the mom her name is Nanel like this Mexican pop singer and I have her daughter which is Milu and if you've seen the adventures of Tintin in Spanish instead of calling her Snowy like how he does in English he calls her Milu okay so then now that I have my foundation uh, on my face I am just going to move on with powder and I can't find the one that's in my makeup bag for some reason but I have been using the Fenty translucent powder lately but again because I can't find it I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake and now using the clean side of my sponge I'm just going to dip it in and apply it to basically my t-zone I applied it under my eyes because I didn't want that foundation to crease honestly <laughs> I pretty much put it everywhere it's probably not good because I am dry skin and all I'm doing is I'm just drying the hell out of my face already. But I don't want my makeup to get all like oily at work later in the day so that's why I do it this way. And now for powder, I used to use this Kat Von D, the Locket in the medium 140. I freaking love this powder. It was a powder foundation and it's a powder foundation that actually could work as a foundation by itself. It gives you like pretty good coverage but 
I don't know why they decided to discontinue it. I'm super pissed because I went through the same thing with the Too Faced one that smelled like cocoa powder and I got super bummed about that but since I completely ran out of this one as you can see I have recently started to use this Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix and this is in 40WY and it looks like this and so now I'm just using like a powder brush I'm just going to use this powder to brush off the translucent powder that way I guess I have like double duty type of protection over here so that my face doesn't get all oily throughout the day and now moving on to brows I'm using my favorite tinted brow mascara this is by NYX and this is in the shade chocolate obviously like for work I just use whatever is like the quickest to like put on my face so I either use uh, this brow mascara or I like to use the Patrick Star one so this is the brow kiki by one size in the shade auburn I don't know why I always look at the bottom like I already know this is an auburn shade <laughs> anyways so I don't know if you could tell but I'm pretty much almost out of this one too and I'm gonna just for this once I'm going to layer it on the one from NYX just because I feel like my NYX one is also running out so maybe I could just put these on top of each other and they could help each other out I'm so stressed you guys. I feel the puppies just like barking from their cage because they want to come out and I feel so bad. I feel like a terrible mother. Anyways, so depending on how much time I have, normally like I don't care. I haven't been caring at all for work but sometimes like most of the time like I don't even put on mascara. I just go like this. This is exactly how I go and like with the lipstick on and that's it or sometimes just with like the lip on. So if you want to you could stop here but I'm gonna add mascara just to complete the look. I'm really not the type of person to like go all out with makeup for work. I really don't do that but I do completely respect the girls that completely do like a full face of makeup for work because I mean it's nice like I kind of envy those girls because they're using like their makeup up you know like their eyeshadow palettes and stuff. I feel like I'm just using the same things over and over and not really like finishing up my makeup and I don't want it to expire too. Okay so moving on to mascara I'm using the Monsieur Big Waterproof by Lancome. I absolutely love this mascara. If you want your natural lashes to look like freaking fake ones and like pop use this one because look at the brush I really love the consistency of this mascara this is like a thick formula so you'll actually be able to see it on your lashes and the reason why I'm using waterproof mascara is because I work in a bakery and we also like have to be going in and out of the freezer like from time to time one time I wore regular mascara and I was organizing like like cakes in there and for like a while because I was getting some cakes out to put on display for the store and then all of a sudden when I come out I come out with like these like dark circle like panda eyes the mascara literally melted onto my under eyes and that's because my lashes like they freeze and I get like little icicles on them and so then when I came out I don't know maybe like it started like to melt and I looked ridiculous nobody told me for a while till I actually looked in my little compact mirror that I carry in my purse and that's exactly why I always have a compact mirror in my purse because I feel like sometimes when you have something on your face people are too shy to let you know that you have something on your face I'm guilty too of like not letting people know because sometimes you're not comfortable to tell that person that was freaking embarrassing <laughs> Then I switched to waterproof mascara immediately because I was like, no, I did not want to make a fool out of myself again. Look how big that makes my natural lashes look. Like, it literally, I mean, I think, it literally looks like I could be wearing like those Ardell falsies, the Demi Wispies that are pretty like natural looking. Now for the final touch, which is the lipstick. And this is a Smashbox one. I've had this one for like years, it feels like. And I really love the color of this one. This one is called Cognac. It is the B Legendary Lipstick. I really like the shade of it. It's like a copper 
type of color and ever since I dyed my hair red I feel like it brings out that color more or like it just goes with it like it complements it really well and then of course for work I always just wear like my little pearl earrings because you know like I work with food so I can't wear any like dangly earrings and that's pretty much it that's how I go to work it's pretty basic like no blush no like contour obviously because who has time for that i mean it's so natural you could kind of see like my little freckles right here and that's pretty much it so this is a daughter and her name is miru she has a little pink nose and i call her my bebe because like babies tend to have pink noses and pink paws and she's almost like seven years old and she still has like little pink in her paws She's kind of jealous around the puppies and kind of aggressive. She kind of like peels her teeth at them, but I mean, I feel like she'll get along with them. So this is Ninel or Ninel and we also call her mommy because again she is a mother i don't really know her age she's like those celebrities that lie and they don't tell you their age because they don't want you to know how old they are maybe she's like 13 but i don't want to admit it and she is such a good mom to her little one she's not as obedient as milu is with milu i could call her maybe twice and she's like right there with this one <laughs> I guess she's older, so she's like, why should I go to you? Like, you come to me. I don't give a butt, right? She's adjusting better to the puppies than her daughter is. She's more calmer. Her daughter is like a little bit more anxious and she's scared of like fireworks and stuff. And here are the puppies! <laughs> mm. So, I had to put my hair up because or else they'll like start biting it. But this is how they look. <sighs> look at their face. Show your face. Oh my god. You see them now? <laughs> and yes, they are sisters. We bought them from the same uh, litter, pregnancy, however you want to call it. Ah! And then we didn't want to separate them, so that's how they look. I was pretty stressed out because we've never had four dogs. But now thinking about it, it's like the best thing we've ever done because when we brought them back with us, uh, they weren't really crying like overnight because they have each other. We don't have a name for them yet. We've been thinking about it, but obviously because they're both very like little, like none of them stick because they won't really like listen. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! <laughs> mm. Mm. Look at this one's little belly! Oh. This one has a better belly than the other one. It's like about the size of an orange. Almost. <laughs>